What we have here is a disc bowl centrifuge and what we're going to do is run some uh, milk through it so it separates uh, the samples out uh, into a heavier portion and the lighter portion. So like any machine it needs to be heated up beforehand so all I'm doing is running some hot water through the machine and you can hear that it's um, making a high pitched noise like uh, as if it was a helicopter because it's composed of so inside in this part here there's loads of little plates and you can see the holes in them there where the milk is coming into the um, into the middle of the uh, the machine and then by centrifugal force it's, it's pushing out the samples to the side um, and it's going to divide it into a lighter portion and a heavier portion so I think we have this, uh, the machine heated up now so we've got two samples to put through. The first one is a fresh milk sample and we've got one liter of that and already have it heated. Um, so, Cause again, you need to put, heat up your samples when you put them through the machine. I'm gonna take this away and then we're gonna have uh, two pre-weighed beakers. I'm gonna catch our uh, samples coming off in this. All right, so let's check all the milk, all the water is through. All the water is through and we are ready to proceed so we can take this away um, yeah just the last bit of water catching the last bit of water coming out there now we'll take that away and we are going to add in our milk oh. now we have a slight bit of uh, water milk interface we can take that into our consideration and our calculations but you can see it's mainly all uh, milk that's coming off we're not seem to have any um, cream coming off at all although this is a whole milk sample there's absolutely no um, there's no cream coming off it at all so you can see here that we've got all our our milk through here I'm just going to take it down the last bit of milk. So I'm going to take these now. You can see there's absolutely no cream came off at all. We're going to take these and we're going to weigh. Now when it gets back to that uh, watery phase again where we just want um, to have water run through the machine, we're now going to run our raw milk sample through. So we have a raw, about one litre of raw milk in here. I pre-weighed the um, beakers and I'm going to run it through the machine as I did with the uh, first sample. So we we'll take this one away. A beaker there and a beaker there and I'm going to add in. So this is a raw milk sample. So immediately we can see the difference. There's a lot of uh, milk coming out here and there's a lot of cream. So what's actually happening is we have uh, skim milk coming out one side there, which actually have loads, so I'm gonna catch it in this. And we've got cream coming out the other side. 